Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. Let's continue exploring Vue 11 and we're going to look for Material Editor. So I'll select the sphere, the test subject, and we'll go open Material Editor. I'm currently in Advanced Material Editor options, so we can have it more um, properties they can modify for this specific object. One thing that we look on top and before kind of overview on different type of materials, simple, mix, volumetric, ecosystem or particle materials. Let's a bit look closer on this and also look at some properties, creating maybe different materials and see how we can utilize these options by creating different type, liquid, metal, volumetric, and see how we can combine them. So right here we we'll start with simple materials and this is just a basic material you can create for the metal or rocks. We also nice things about this, we can combine and add additional layers. As example, right here we have a normal um, kind of default color. Let's modify colors for this and I'm going to right click on the color map, go edit. You'll notice in color um, map we have it different options. If you work with different with the, like Photoshop or other editors and you create your own gradients, this is will be kind of similar. So we have one color we can adjust and I'm just going to select lighter blue. And for example I want to add right here new key color. So I'll select point, click new color. I'll go select something a little bit more darker to saturated. We also can insert keys on the middle. You can also move your cursor, double click, that will create a new key color as well. So we can create this way. And of course, how before we can select or we can go by the position number. If you want to adjust, example, right here, we can move a little bit more accurate, new color. And we can adjust that way as well. If you want to readjust after, you can left click on a keyframe, hold down and move left and right to a position if you need it. You can also go all the way down, so create for more harder effect. Below we have our currently color selected displayed. You can also access by hue values or by RGB values. You can set clamp mode for the um, upper and lower modes to mirror, repeat, or clamp. So for example, right here when we switch this end, you can apply to this. You can also enable key on top for the opacity specifically of your filter. And you can also modify a filter curve for your opacity so you can increase opacity on the middle, decrease on the end. Right here will be your point of the gradient and this is level of opacity. So we can actually create different type of opacities for the filter. Okay, we can also add additional keys currently. I want don't uh, modify opacity so we'll just set opacity to 100% for our filter colored. And one thing with the gradients you can create your own collection by uh, saving, you can open or you can set, reset it. So when we're done, let's click OK. And right here, you notice we have our gradient set. Next, what I want to do, it is modify color production. One thing to do this, we can just double click on the color production and preload it already functions that exist from collection. We can browse our visual collection and select it. Uh, just beware if you select one any of this, they will be resetting our color map. So if you want to preserve a color map, be sure you save it. Then you can load it and apply it and restore back your color map. Or you can also apply other ways by going to function editor. So like right click, go to edit function. We'll select this last node, which is constant and replace it, for example, with a noise. By default, let's use Perlin Noise. I'm going to switch to Varnai Noise right here and decrease scale slightly. Click OK. 
Okay, so we have this kind of interesting effect applied. What I want to do with this particular material, I want to create this as a metal example looking, but with some interesting bump. So next, what I'm going to do, I will ignore alpha for this production because I don't need any transparency, but I'm going inside the bump material, right click, and again, if you want it, you can double click and preload it, like for example, Tyrion Fractal, so we can preloaded already some bump map to this. I'm going to reset because what I'm going to do is modify. I'm going inside function editor and I will go right here, click, hold left button and drag to output on Varanai. So I connect my bump map to the production of Varanai noise filter, same that control color distribution. Let's click OK. You notice right here we have a bumps. The one thing, maybe I don't want this bump, I want them inverse. We have a few ways you can do one. We can go inside function editor, add filter and reverse this filter. The other ways we can actually work with depth and instead going positive, we'll just type minus 0 0.2. So it will be opposite way and you can notice we have it now bumps going inside. We also have it options on the bumps to work with uh, filters. Just a little bit slightly change shapes as example. I can create them a little bit more deeper and smaller, for example, right here. Let's click OK, so they won't be this sharp on the end, kind of more uh, erosion type. I don't want to use displacement on this currently material. So I will leave it unchecked. Highlights, I want increase a little bit highlights and a little bit help way and shiny, so the, for the metal. Also highlights colors, we can modify it and we can set maybe to something yellowish orange color slightly. You'll notice by some properties like highlights, intensity, size, as well um, some other functions. We have a, this icon that says you can drive with function. So for example, let's work on highlights. If I click it's enable my function and notice right here highlights and we have a node connecting to colors. Just as example, we can create different color map. Let's preload it. It doesn't matter any colors for this example. Next, I'm going actually utilize same node, so I'm connecting this way. We'll go delete this node. And again, I'm dragging and connecting. So this way, my highlights colors connecting based on my node. And I can increase brightness. I don't need any transparency. However, I want to work with reflection. So I'm going pop up almost all the way up, maybe a little bit less global reflectivity. Currently it's work like a um, mirror and we'll start losing colors. To restore colors we need to go inside effects and right here color reflect metal. So we'll go all the way to 100. You notice we start restoring some of those colors. Again with reflection you can readjust so you don't reflect as much. Just make it a bit less and let's pop up blurry reflection. Um, this is option the reflectivity in global and blurry reflectivity will affect render time, not very significantly, but it is need covering with sub rays. As well, check on the render options. Um, if you have some dark dots you want to increase on your reflectivities, uh, sub rays amount, so you will remove some of the black dots if they appear. Mostly you won't have that problem at all. Right here we select the material, next we don't need to worry about translucency and as well effects it's set properly with the color reflect. So next what I want to do for this it's creating another layer. Similar if you work with maybe Photoshop or other applications you can do this way by creating new ma material and what I'm going to do is creating basic material, it's a basic gray material. Go enable zero. Next, what I want to do, it is click, and you can notice right here when we're going to select 
any specific um, kind of production so I'm going and for example I want this green yellow so I'll click OK you can see it's overlaid next what I want to do it is produce work with alpha production to maybe create a little bit of um, rust effect but again I want to replace green ones so we'll go right here maybe select this color select more as a rust color click OK and alpha production right click and by here constant node let's replace it with a basic fractal and we'll change fractal to the grainy fractal so it will give it us kind of more look um, very good okay let's reset filter okay next what I want to do I want to actually take and remove this color map so we can go directly from our alpha production from function so you notice when we're done now we have to kind of display over um, if you have it a little bit too much rust this way we can control with the filter an example we can go take end point right here and move down and you notice we increasing this way so if you want to have it higher or we can go agree to another point on this end and if we start increasing we are kind of removing if I want to increase some points stronger and some less so I will can control by um, here modifying so adjusting create another point and you can see we can this way we can create darker points stronger and remove some other options let's click OK let's go in a bump for this layer and one thing I want to do I want add bumps to this as well let's just go and select bumps just for the rust material and we add this to layer below so you can notice we have two layers so far and we add one on top of another we can continue and creating more and more layers and some as example we can go to just select the grass one let's click OK for this layer we'll set zero and to make a little bit opposite to this so I'm going to just click on alpha production we'll add grainy fractal for this okay let's add it and add a little bit more darker so we'll have a little bit more points click OK on this one actually I want to place it on the bottom so I'll go to environment be sure it's selected by object if I want to adjust to this object if I want apply to the world or relative to the sea I won't change but in this current level by the object I'll take bring this little bit below so it will be creating not on top this is one way to create it fasten it to the top so it will be smooth also we can create on a slope range instead for example if you don't want to use this way we can take by the slope and bring halfway if you have a hard time to see you always can enable um, for example highlighters it does not replace materials but it's easier you can notice much easier to see so we can apply a little bit on a slope so it will create on the bottoms of a material and I do recommend to add a little bit more fastness so that to the edges it will add a kind of smaller more realistic look uh, if we work with the snow or maybe other effect we probably will use it um, angle of this but not at that time so I'll go click OK we'll click OK again and you notice we have it three layers main layer and additional layers so let's adjust and I'm going right now select render on screen and let's go also switch our atmosphere lighting to the global radiosity okay and we're ready to click on preview okay till the render we have a pass first pass with a dark kind of black which is normal and next um, out of the ambient lighting is calculating we have a final pass you can notice right here we have a 
few materials done. Okay. We have our original kind of reflective metal. We have our rust added. And we have some maybe most on the bottom. Again, this is to combine layers. Because we did not use displacement, the our edges is smooth. If we apply displacement for the our main material on the bottom, so right here, you'll notice the shape is changing. Okay, be sure we're going to rest and we'll kind of add to this one. And if we render, it will take a little bit longer. You can see it takes slightly longer time to render because need calculating. And as well with displacement right here on the edges of our material. Okay, let's take a second. You can see it's not smooth anymore. Now we have it. We modify shape of the object with enable displacement materials. So thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. And the next tutorials will also look on different type of materials and we'll be creating them as well.